I can't do this. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Southeast Adventures. Uh, today is not an exciting day or a happy day here. Uh, it's a it's a sad day, uh, as you can see uh, from from the opening. I shot that the the day that this happened. Um, we were uh, driving down driving down the road on the way to uh, an off road adventure. We're going to shoot some video for you guys, and um, we're on this highway. Speed limit's about 55 miles an hour. Uh, there's a, a little fruit and vegetable stand. They sell chairs and wood carvings, whatever you want probably in the worst location that you could ever have. Had a car in front of me, and the car in front of that car decided uh, they wanted some tomatoes or, or a watermelon or, or wood carving, whatever they wanted, and they came to uh, just almost a complete stop. The uh, car in front of me slammed on their brakes, and I jumped on mine, uh, got the vehicle, stopped, did perfect. Uh, Locked up, locked up the brakes, skid marks and everything, uh, but I didn't hit the vehicle in front, which was great, and I was sitting there just about to celebrate the fact that I, that I saved that. Boom, got plowed from behind. You know what? Um, I'm over the initial shock and, and the grief. I'm okay, my two kids in the car were okay, so uh, it's all good. So today, we're gonna take this down to the Chevrolet dealership and have them take a look at it to see to see what needs to be done. So I'm gonna give you a little walk around of, of the damage and um, you know, just a little update video. Uh, unfortunately, truck's gonna be out of commission for quite a while, so no more modifications for, for the time being. I was working on a couple uh, that I'm gonna to bring to you. Uh, I've got some in the, in the editing bin right now that I just need to finish up, but I'm not gonna finish it until, until this gets resolved. So, um, I'll take a little walk around with you and show you what exactly the damage is. Obviously you can see the major damage here on the bumper where it got caved in pretty good, tailgate, and the tailgate won't come down anymore, which is to be expected. Um, here on this side. You can see, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but here's where the the indention is here. It looks like it lifted the back of the truck up on the passenger side an inch or so. So, you know, I got the lift on that side anyway that I'm, I've been planning on, on doing. Um, probably not going to be able to see it here. I'll try to show, but right along in here is where the, the bed got a crease in it and started folding up. We take a look under the vehicle. <clears throat> you can see here where the spare tire and everything uh, just came forward into the rear diff. Um, and pushed into there the trailer hitch. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. The trailer hitch went into the, into the spare tire. There we go. See where the trailer hitch dug into there. Um, shock skids held up beautifully, by the way. Thank you very much. But um, you know the uh, the truck was drivable. Uh, did drive it home about ten miles. Uh, the only thing that only warning lights that came on. Are the service safety restraint system. So the, um, the seat belts engaged and did not retract. So they don't, the front driver and passenger seat belts don't retract anymore. So 
Um, that's the only that's the only electronic warning lights that I got on the vehicle. So that's good. Uh, I ran it through the um, four-wheel drive modes. Went to auto, four high, four low. Engaged the lockers. Everything engaged. No warning messages. No no check. Uh, check engine lights or, or service warnings or anything. But um, yeah, interested to see what what exactly the damage is going to be, what it's going to take to repair. You can see here where the bed has been pulled away from the cab. You can see the gap up here. And then it gets really tight down here where it bent the bed in. Guys, this, this thing's built like a tank. I mean, like I said, I, I was able to drive it home. There was no rubbing, no vibrations. We got hit pretty hard. The, the airbags in the in the Tahoe that hit me, um, his bags deployed, ours didn't. Uh, again, it's drivable, but you can see how it's kind of lifted up on this side. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna take it down to the Chevrolet dealership. Tow truck's coming to get it because I don't want to drive it with the um, without seat belts. It, the, the dealership I'm going to is uh, on the other side of town, so it's a pretty long drive. Uh, I could make it, but I just, like I said, I don't want to drive with, without the seat belts. But uh, anyway, I will be updating you guys with these kind of videos for a little while. So uh, appreciate you watching, and um, I'll be back soon with an update.